To make custom models, open up model doc and add a render mesh file. I'll find the folder for my add-on and I'll create a models folder in there. You can actually save your models anywhere you want, but since I'm going to be making a regular prop, I'm gonna save it in the models folder. I'm going to make an industrial prop, so I'll make another folder called props underscore industrial. I found this industrial box on 3dmodelcc0.com, so I'll download it. It looks like this came with an FBX and all the textures. So I'll drop this electrical box folder inside my props industrial folder, and then open up the FBX. I'll hit compile, and then I'll have to save it. I can save it in the exact same file location with the exact same name as the FBX. Next, I need to add a material. So I'll open up the material editor and create a material in the exact same folder with the exact same name. I'll go in and add all the materials. Looks like this one came with base color, metallic, AL, normal, and roughness. Now all these textures are actually 2K. I don't need it that detailed, so I'm gonna lower them all down to 512, except for my base color, which I'll only lower to 1024. That looks good. Back to model doc. I'll add a default material group. And I'll set it to be the material I just made. Hit compile and there we go. Now there's no collisions for this yet. So if I'm going to make it a static prop, I can add a physics mesh file. And I can use the exact same mesh as the render mesh. Source 2 actually supports DMX, SMD, FBX, OBJ, and VOX mesh files. That looks pretty good actually. Most of the time you'll want to go in and change the max vertices per hull. I'm actually going to do that because I don't need that many vertices. I'll compile it and I'll open up Hammer and check it out in game. So here it is in game. It's actually huge. And that's because most of the time when you download free models, they're going to be in centimeters, not inches. So I'll have to go into model doc and change the scale. I can look for scale in mirror modifier and I can set the scale to be roughly 0.39. Google tells me one centimeter equals 0.39 inches, so that's why I did that. I'll compile again, and it'll be roughly the right size in game. It's still kind of big, so I can tweak it even more, although I think this is fine. If I look at the collisions, it looks like the collisions are actually the wrong size. So it looks like there's a bug right now in Sandbox where scale and mirror doesn't actually affect the physics shape. So I'll have to go in and manually change the physics shape scale. That's much better. Now you don't want to forget about sounds. All that you have to do for sounds is change the surface property. I'm going to change this to metal and then compile again. Now when I shoot it in game, it'll sound like metal. If I want this to be a physics prop, I can set the archetype to be physics prop. Now I don't actually know if this does anything. What does matter is having prop data. So I'll add this and I can tweak some settings in here. I can allow it as static prop. I don't know if that actually does anything because I'm pretty sure every model can be a static prop. But I can tweak settings in here like spawn with motion disabled and bake lighting as a static prop. Now physics mesh file does not actually work as a physics prop. So I'll have to delete this and manually add my own physics shapes. So I'll find physics shape box and resize it to be roughly the right size. It's, this doesn't have to be perfect, although you should get it as close as possible. I'll add another box for the bottom. I can actually copy and paste this one and it'll be in the exact same spot. And I can just resize it and lower it down. That looks good to me. So I'll go back in Hammer and change the prop type to be Prop Physics. Now I should be able to fizz sim it. Yep, I can press Shift C and simulate the physics. It slides a lot. And it looks like the gravity isn't quite right. So I'll go back into model doc and tweak the physics a little bit. Yeah, it says 5,000 kilograms. It's because I did not set the surface property. I'll set it to metal. Oh wow, that's even heavier now. I'll set it to 
metal sheet. Now it's a lot lighter. It's still pretty heavy, but I think the physics should be close enough. That's good enough for me. If you don't like it, you can tweak the settings even more. I'm going to reset this to its original position, and then I'll compile the map and check it out in-game. So here we have our working prop in-game. I can shoot it. It's metal. It looks pretty light because it fell over from just that. I see my metal sparks and bullet holes. This concrete part is metal though, so I would change the surface property to be a concrete. I can grab it with my physics gun, throw it around, and it's working perfectly. Like and subscribe.